our series of Yards, Ales of the Revolution. <clears throat> right now, today, we're doing the George Washington Tavern. I'm Port. sorry, I'm sorry, General Washington. I apologize, General Washington. Yeah, that's right. I apologize. He was a general and a president. Not at the same time. Nope, nope, thank goodness. <laughs> Because the commander in chief is a that civilian, the commander in chief is a civilian. Right? We've, we've all been over this. Right? We all understand yes. this. Would right? be a military statement. The, uh, the commander in chief oh, is yeah. a civilian. So the story behind Yards, Ales of the Revolution, <laughs> <laughs> okay. is the city tavern. The city tavern found, I believe, found their these recipes in a from some of our founding fathers, possibly in a possibly in a pirate, possibly in Google. John Paul Jones too, yeah. <laughs> found these Brown's Yards. They no, discussed it. No, not not Jeff Paul Jones. Yeah, <laughs> but they went and yards and city tavern collaborated, came up with the ales of the revolution, which are just modern. Uh, what did we discuss? Safer? Not not as uh, no bacteria. More sanitary. <laughs> and and, 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 and they, I do they, I do believe it's important. I think they had to upgrade some of the ingredients. Some stuff they may not be able to get anymore. I'm not. <laughs> so this is General Washington's. Time to board. Yeah. Mm, mm. There's something to say about the man that gave us independence in this country. Ah! The man can make a mean port. It's a really good beer. It makes it me really feel so is. happy about my life. I, I just did this porter recipe from, my, from my brew house. It's not even good. And I didn't even give our country to the founding independence. Father, the founding father. Okay, so just because you have daddy issues. Get better than relax. you. He may have come up with this. 200 years ago. <laughs> he may have come up with this while he was slitting the throat of a red coat. <laughs> with his bare hands. I don't think he did with that. Knife, like, he might not. He have was done. not. In <laughs> with a tomahawk. Yeah. What was he? I this beer. I never. I never mm. give this beer the credit due to the other two beers. I never give this beer the credit to. I'm glad I'm finally doing it now. Every time I drink this beer, I'm more and more impressed by it. I go, this is a good. Uh, this one. I go, mm -hmm. this is a great beer. I really like this beer. This is actually on par with the. Cape Cod Port. That's uh, pretty good. Ooh. It's it, yeah. it actually. That's a little creamier, I think. This is this is a little a creamier, creamier, but this but is, this is oh, so mm -hmm. good. Yeah. And I just I don't drink it enough, and I just forget about it. And I forget how good this beer actually is. I, I, I can it. do an entire six pack. It's a great yeah, beer. Well, you gotta buy it now. Or twelve pack, whatever. Because uh, because of Philadelphia uh, <laughs> beer laws. That's for another. That's for another day. Looking at you. All right, so um, we're gonna go ahead and review this. Yeah, yeah, we will. <laughs> um, Ales of the Revolution. It's a fantastic series. I think it's brilliant. I like the history behind it. Um, the fact that they found these original recipes with and in conjunction with City Tavern. Yep. And um, kind of recreated these up to modern day sanitary and standards. Um, I'm going to give this an 8.5. I really like this beer, and I like the fact that it's called a tavern porter. That it doesn't call out like any sort of like chocolate or, or any sort of hints. It's just a porter, it's porter, and it's really smooth, and it's really, I mean, for me, just, I mean, delicious. Like, I can't think of, I can't think of any uh, distinct taste with it. No, it, it is, it is a, it is a defining porter. It's just, it is a porter. A porter. That this is, is it. You it's, know, it's not a stout. It's not creamy enough. It's not thick enough to be a stout. You, you, is, you get your mocha. You right get there. your mocha. You get your chai stuff. But it's, it's mostly just, just not. It's not quite smoky, but that just that. Yeah. Here's that roasted yeah. malt flavor. Yeah. yeah. And it just fucking right in your face. Just right in your face. I like it. So I, uh, eight yeah. five. Right. I'm gonna dive in. I'm gonna give this one an eight. I like it a lot. Not as much as you. Why? Why you gotta disrespect? <laughs> <laughs> you're no, your opinion. I'm gonna give it an eight. Just saying, General Washington is rolling in his grave. You know, you General, was happy. General Washington, first of all, <laughs> the great American, possibly the original great American. Hmm? I gotta give it an eight. I think it's great. Eight is great. I'm, I'm gonna agree with Brad. I'm an eighty-five. This right. is fantastic. Very agreeable. I also really enjoy the little caption on the side of the bottle that nice. says. Uh, an admirer of Philadelphia style porters, so they were already doing porters. Like, no, they this. General Washington developed this recipe to satisfy his thirsty field officers. 
because nothing wins a war like drunk people with guns. <laughs> <laughs> Secrets. It's fantastic. I mean, this is this is my second favorite of all these because I haven't done it, but it's um, it, like I said, defining porter. You know, this is a you just you could drink this and be like, yes, this is a porter. That's it, and I love it, and I will have this the rest of the evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's great. It's great. Great porter. All right. Thank you, Yards. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Real fast. Thank General, you. General Washington. Thank you, General Washington. As a founding father. What's your rating? What's your rating? General Washington. General I'm gonna, Washington. As a founding father, I'm going to give him a nine. Are you kidding me? How's General Washington? <laughs> General Washington. Your he lost yeah. a couple. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. As the first president. As I learned. Yeah, yeah. Not nine. I'm going to go nine. Nine. All right. I got to go ten. He's too freshman. He's a boy. He could do no wrong. Not in my eyes. Chopped down a cherry tree, couldn't tell a lie. He did not chop down a cherry tree. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, couldn't tell a lie. Sir Dottie said he like didn't chop down a cherry tree. Chopped down a cherry tree. Is that what he did? Yeah, damn right. American unicorns. Thank you, George. General. General George. Jim